Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. Hi of course I'm Sobedian and today we're going to see if we can get ourselves to the end of 52 and uh, get ourselves some warships going uh, for our next gen uh, battle fleet which we will then take on a lovely stroll through Perth. A missile laden stroll full of a nuclear explosions. It's going to be a fun day. Um, we have 3,000 stingers. We've got 176 green ants. We're going to need more. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more because that was two ships and it ate like more, less than half of our green ants. I want reloads. So let's get another 300 green ants. Um, we still got 235 hammers, so we do have backup ammunition, but I want the green ants uh, a bit more. So, right. Now, the reason why you why don't necessarily want to mix green ants with the hammers is because the hammers and the green ants have different speed. So if you fire them at the same time, they're going to split off and get into different uh, salvos. So that can be problematic. Uh, we almost have ground unit strength 12, which is good. Uh, at the moment, our infantries are 11. Um, yeah. Well, they're 10, because they're, but they're getting a 10% bonus, so they're 11. So we'll see that jump up in a moment. Oh, that's why I can't use the cadres, because they're armor cadres, not uh, infantry cadres. Okay. Uh, ground unit 12, we're now at 13.20, so that's nice. Whoa, who's, who's got the 25% bonus? Wasted on the garrison. Okay. Whatever. Um, divisional headquarters. Okay. That's going to take a while. That's fine. Uh, grab sensor strength and tower tracking speed is not too far off now. Hostile transit. We have a uh, Galtheim. Okay. Potteroos. Warm it up. And I'm gonna run threat from Galtheim. There we go. Charging. 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 Fire. Bang. Dead. Good work, guys. And then we're going to get... Double Hump to come and collect the life pods. Head back to Krantor. Okay. Nice and easy. One hundred and nineteen survivors. Nice. Okay. Uh, Automated mines are done. Let's go and move them out. We've got a uh, twenty of them, right? Yeah, twenty automated mines. So. 20 supply, 20 demand. Alright, Mercury stockpile is back down below, uh, back to zero, so that is great. Our stockpile on Australia is growing, which is awesome. Uh, second battle fleet, what's your maintenance timer? Okay, you're almost at a year. Right. Um, it's about time that we swap you guys out. So, we've got two Kamals and a Waller 16. Perfect. Potteroo, Sensor, Potteroo, all the others. Alright. Uh, you guys are excellent. So, Melbourne, move two. And then gonna split you guys. Higher level command, battle fleet one, save. 
distance of 50, but no offset. Hang on. Whoops. I might screw it up. Right, task group is first battle fleet. There it is. And you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of this, so I'm going to save escorts. Save escorts. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm going to save escorts here as well. I wonder where that's actually kept. Oh well. Recall escorts and go refuel, resupply, load ordnance, and begin overhaul. Easy. Got a lot of wrecks sitting around this jump point. They don't really get away much, do they? Kamal heavies are halfway there. Haulers are almost complete, which is great. I think we're going to build four of them. Okay, haulers are done. Perfect. Can we do a refit of our regular haulers? How much is it going to cost? 305? 419? That's almost the whole thing. Okay. Um, build me two more haulers and um, I will get you guys to scrap the old haulers. Yeah, that's fine. Because they're, not, they're, too, they're too slow for our use. They're worthless. Alright, turret tracking speed is almost done. Which is going to make the next generation of Gauss cannons excellent. Ooh, we have another Galchheim. Okay. First battle fleet is on station. Ooh, there's six of them, okay. Copy assignment, copy target. Open fire. First Blood Fleet does have active sensors on. Yes, Lynx is active, good. Dead. That was easy. Now we send double hump out, life pods, rescue, move back to Krantor. Um, I think we might have to go and drop them off back at so back at Australia though. What are we up to? One, two, three, about 400. We can store a thousand. No, we're fine. Back to Krantor. Okay. <sighs> One forty two survivors. Nice. Pr 
progressing very nicely. Hostile transit detected. Okay, we got a Hoder and a Valhalla. Alright, well, we got two of them. Now, do we want to split our fire or do we want to. Hoder, Valhalla, Hoder, Valhalla. Hydra, Valhalla, okay, even fire, let's go from the Valhalla, and just in case, oh, wrong battle fleet, just in case, I'm going to assign target, open fire, and assign target, open fire, and get these lined up and ready. Good. Put the hammers in. Put the hammers in. Okay. Ah. <sighs> oh wait, we completed research. Where do we complete research? Tra tower tracking speed. Tower tracking speed. Okay. Good. Now we're getting a laser. Now we're getting an actual laser weapon. Um. Yep, they're sticking together. Yep, we should be able to smack them. Almost. Oh, they're splitting up. Ba -ba 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 bang Three more getting ready. We have split fire at the moment, but not a big deal. Ba -ba 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 bang I believe they should be crippled now. Alright, we're recharging. Bang! More damage on both. Secondary magazine explosions. Bang! Valhalla is dead. Hodor is all that's left. All ships switch targets. First battle fleet number two, switch to the Hodor. Bang, gone. Excellent work team. Clear fleet. All right. It's nice that they're sending more than one ship at us, though. It gets a little bit boring just blowing up one ship after another. Because it's like, it's just not working for them. Ah, uh, might want to turn off the missile fire control. Okay. Thankfully, there wasn't any actual missiles in it, or even anything assigned to it. Uh, huh. mm, done. Okay. Oh, I have events turned off. Alright. 
we have all of our green ants and we have completed our laser. Now we'll, do, we'll go for the next gen of wallabies for the laser. There's not, I don't want to bother trying to refit them or squeeze them in or anything like that. Um, grab a sense of strength. We still have plenty of sense of fire control stuff uh, queued up. That's fine. Missile kinetics is queued up. That's fine. How much random we have? We have 2200. I want another lab. And let's look at us up to 2,000 factories. Okay. Right. How are we doing? 73% for our Kamal heavies. And cactuses are not too far off. Um, I definitely want to complete um, these guys as well, but they're going to be in December. Oh, shit. Labs. Um... We've got 15 labs to distribute. Let's put it five into there. A couple into there. And... You know what? Let's get some defensive stuff going. So, ceramic composite armor? Yes. Get some better armor. And then... Queue up some shields. Okay. Mars has completed construction of its construction factories. That is fine. We can just let it um, chug by itself. Just pass those minerals along to us, please, if you don't mind. But uh, shift this into 100. Full speed on mines. Because why not, eh? Okay. 80%. I believe these are the second set of Kamal heavies. Because I'm pretty sure we already have one pair. Yeah, we already have one pair. We've got one pair of Kamal heavies, one pair of cactuses. Uh, we've got a Wallaby Seas. Yeah, so we're mainly just waiting for our... Um, will be S's, the main flower in the Montreal, because these guys are going to be <clears throat> doing the spotting for us. Um, I will be bringing along the Potteroos as well, because they're good in a pinch, and they're not bad ships. Wait, did something else just complete? Or did somebody just die? Ah, we lost Stephanie Connolly. Okay. Unfortunate. And, uh, and remember what she was working on? Reload right. Okay. Then warhead. Then railgun. Okay. We're currently in March of 52. We are waiting until December 52. Grav sensor 21 done. Eat missile ECM 1 on the way. It's a little bit late to be. Um... Ah, a lab is complete. Let's put that into defensive systems. Um, yeah, it's too late to start. Uh, putting, designing new sensors because I, I don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, because all, all, the, all the technologies that we're developing now, they're going to be used for the next generation of ships, um, which we probably won't do for at least a couple of years because um, I think that the ones that we're developing, the ones that we're building now and almost about to finish should be enough to... Um, thoroughly destroy the NPR as it is. Ah, we have our... Let's get a couple of brigade headquarters. Um, Kamal Heavy complete. Kamal Heavy complete. 
Excellent. All right, we're waiting for the cactuses and the wall and the remaining wallabies to be completed. So, um, four cactuses should be more than enough. Ooh, um, we need some facilities. We need a couple of military academies. So let's get one of these out. Um, yeah, so once we get all of these guys out the, off the line, um, we will have ourselves a good battle fleet and we're going to be sending everybody else along with it. This is going to be a major offensive. Um, and like they barely held against us on the little raid that we were doing. Now we are doing a full-on assault. So they're not going to hold. They're not. They're not going to hold. I mean, we, we're going to have four cactuses and a Waller sixteen. So that's five dedicated point defense ships. Um, we're going to have four uh, missile assault ships we're going to have ah uh, shit we need a collier uh, okay let's build one up real quick <clears throat> No, I need to I need to check something for magazines. <clears throat> All right, magazine one size has a cost of five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So it's just straight up five first. So cost is not cheaper for a bigger magazine. Crew is a little bit, but cost is not. Okay. So magazines. That'll do. Put one of these so we can load missiles into it. So let's load 300 green ants. Four hundred stingers. I guess six hundred stingers. And can we fit any more green ants? Ten more. Three hundred ten green ants. That's a fair amount of ammunition. Okay. Um instead of engines we can stick a tractor beam on here. So we can just cart along. Um maybe I will put a no, I don't want to put. I don't want to put too much. It's fourteen hundred build points. If we start putting engines on there, that's just going to jack it up. Um, <clears throat> so, um, commercial engine twelve hundred. That's push it up to sixteen hundred. Now, all right. Give yourself just enough engineering spaces so the failure rate isn't atrocious and then we're gonna run might as well do this and make it a supply ship as well um, 16,000 ton collier as a hang on 12 the plummet time really doesn't matter but from the maintenance is alright. So, armored. Um, we don't need... We don't need fuel. Strip that out. Um, actually, just in case, I'm going to put a tiny fuel tank on there because ships sometimes complain if they have no fuel at all. Um, so, this thing is basically just going to get dragged around by 
whatever's in the flate. But <sighs> colliers are so annoying. Okay, you know what? Scrub this. We'll copy the Kamal. I'm just going to strip out all of its launchers and fire controls. I'm going to replace the ion combat drives with. No, you know what? The ion combat drives are fine. And just 14400, two more magazines in there. Okay. 1840 green ants. So 98 stingers and 175 green ants. But it's mainly for the green ants because we, we can carry a lot of um, anti missiles anyway. So that's fine. Um, can this be built from the from something tooled for Kamal? Yes. Good. So now we don't have to tool the shipyard for it. So, um, okay. What can we do to it and keep the tooling? Can we replace an engine with more magazines? No. Okay. So we need that. We need that engine. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, and comma drive. Okay. Now the question is, right? It's going to cost. Uh, we can build it in here, but what about in here? We can't in here. But if we swap the engines with our improved ones, can we do it then? If we run the same engines as the Kamal Heavy, can the Kamal Heavy build it? No. Okay, so we're just going to run the ions. And combat drive. Done. Okay. We get about the same size, same speed. So same performance, but we have stingers and green ants. Um, okay, so this is going to be our um, Kamal, uh, Kamal Collier and flag it. Um, would love to get a load, a little bit more MSP on here, but it's fine. Hang on. Shit, we do actually need a tiny bit more MSP. There, because it can't actually repair Max, which I actually just realized. No, no, the Kamal can. And I can still run the Collier, fine. Now, important question. Can we stick a maintenance storage bay on here? No, maybe. Is it still happy with this? Yes. Another one? Yes. Okay, now that, 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 that's plenty of MSP for emergencies. So, supply ship, perfect. Um, it's not going to be doing any shooting. So, mm, but we do need it to run with the fleet, so... Yeah, no, we'll f it's fine. We'll leave that as is. Um, so we have our Collier. So industry, ship components, magazine. How much magazine do we need? Like six? Six, okay. We need six magazines. Drop 
drop this to 10. So we need six magazines there. And do we have engines? Well, we'll scrap those. And these are enemies, so scrap those. These are not ours. <clears throat> these aren't ours either. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're building magazines and we need some ion combat drives. Uh, two will do. And this one's much more expensive, but there's less of them. So, yeah, no, that, that, that's that's fine. Okay, so that's our collier. Good. <sighs> Magazines are almost done. Probably could have trimmed that and moved them into the combat drive, but whatever. I mean, magazine feed efficiency has shifted to 90%, which is great for our future magazines. So let's complete those combat drives, and then we'll build ourselves a collier to go with um, our Kamal heavies. So that we can fit additional green ants for our little foray. There we are. Construction the collier. Yeah, we'll just call it back out. That's fine. How long is that going to take? September 52. So, good. That's As long as it gets done before December. That's the important bit. As long as it gets done, done before December. Because end of the... Because we're going we're gonna to go with the new year. So, we're going to ruin their Christmas, basically. Well, you know, assuming they have a Christmas, they are alien scum. <laughs> we could potentially get another collier out. Actually, how many real? How much reloads does the collier give a Kamal heavy? So it carries. 175 green ants and Kamal Heavy fires 50 of them so it can reload like three salvos on that Kamal Heavies that's not really enough so magazine six um and combat drives to June 52, 25th, 30th. Yeah, they're basically going to get done instantly, so that's fine. So I'm going to build one more collier. And they're going to be good ships that are going to be useful for us throughout uh, the game. So they're fine. All right, we got Bastion rolling off the line. Interestingly enough, no commanding officer. Interesting. Very interesting. Have we run out of officers? Uh, we've got an extra slipway on this. So we got a... Okay. So we added to Jordan Walters... Okay, no, it's just the one. I was looking at this. No, that's the one. Okay. So we added magazines built, iron engines built, collier, get them out the line. Is it going to be done before Christmas? Yes. October. Perfect. Missile ECM 1 is done. Awesome.
Mother Academy complete. Good. Uh, is there anything else that we need built? Um, let's go with... How much uranium do we have? 1800. We can fit more automated mines. Let's get another 10 automated mines. Okay. Collider is a building quickly. Cactus is going to be done in November. Wallabies is going to done, be done in September. And our two sensor wallabies are going to be done in December. I think it, I think the sensor wallabies are going to have to be built, um, pre-built from now on. Because they just take too long. Then again, we don't need to, we don't need many of them. Just need a few. Hostiles transit, Gothra Dumarung. All right, I think we can kill it before it can fire. If we use the third, oh, that's a combat jump. See how you see how you merged here instead of here. That's a combat jump. He's going to be able to fire quick. All right, Gothra Dumarung. We're going to set it as a threat ma threat anyway because might as well weapons lock open fire uh, but we are going to be firing our missiles as well now uh, maybe not the full salvo but just five is fine just for that smack in the face Assign, assign, fire. Fire, not you. Hammers. Clear. Synchronous. Good. Uh, ten hammers combined with the fire from our potteroos should be enough to kill it. Hopefully before it is able to fire its guns. Uh, just very quickly, we'll actually assign our point defenses. That might be a good idea. Okay. Okay, let's see how we go. Wow, that was fast. Who got that shot off instantly? Husky. Husky, wow. Husky, what are you doing? Where are you? Chroma 100, grade bonus of 30. What's your task force training? Husky... 53. Eh, they're just awesome, I guess. Either way, um, we just hit them really hard. I feel it. Yeah, no, that's uh, more. So, no breaches at the moment. So, they have pretty strong armor on this one. But next hit should be significant as soon as everybody else can fire. Come on. This is super dangerous to have it be that close. Bang, 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 bang. We got breaches. Many, 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 many breaches. No magazine kills, but that's fine. Hammers are away, but... Ah, wasted. Ceasefire clear. 
clear ceasefire. Okay. Oh, unfortunate. Wasted some hammers. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Gotta go get us some uh, prisoners, what we're gonna do. Okay. Where were we? Right. Waiting for the rest of our ships to, sh to be built. Okay. Oh, I'm not running events. <laughs> okay, wallabies are almost. We're in August at the moment. Colliers are going to be done September, October. Cactus is going to be done November. Wallaby sensors are going to be done in December. Ah, really looking forward to it. Will be C is almost done. Hang on, did we get anything out of the prisoners or did they just pick it up? Oh, we got geological survey data for Perth. Hooray. I thought we already had that. Okay. Well, our uh, Kamal Collier is done. Uh, we're going to need a lot more green ants. So, we'll start building those. Let's get another 500. That's going to be. Uh, they're not going to be done in time. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, ordnance production. Queue that to the top. And I just queued. What did I queue? Radiation? No, ditch that. Um, you know what? Where is Ordnance Factory? Okay. Um, we have currently fi 500. So let's get another 200. Actually, let's make another 500. Slam them out. Okay. Currently in September. How is our fuel reserves? We're gonna need all the fuel. Five million liters? Yep, yeah, we got plenty. Thermal sensitivity is there. Alright, while we see is done. Next up is the second collier in October. <laughs> Done. Okay. Um, now, very quickly, Battlefleet 1, you're almost at maintenance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to save escorts, recall escorts, head in, refuel, resupply, load ordnance, and overhaul. Um, second Battlefleet will get you guys to move up and take the place and deploy escorts. I would have thought that that would have done it instantly. We did save escorts, didn't we? Yes. Good. Okay. Um, uh, we need to get the double hump in position. 
hang on, real, real quick, real quick. How long is it going to take to build the double hump R plus? March 54, too long. Uh, and they're all fuel tanks as well. Well, we do have another double hump. We do have one. So he can act as our jump ship if necessary. But we need a double hump R. So double hump R. Eh, do we? The morale is completely irrelevant. It's life support failure that's a problem. And we can just offload the prisoners at Krantor. But it's going to be unfortunate. How long is it going to take it to unload? 15 days. Yeah, now we can do that. Yeah, go do that. I forgot the double hump R is uh, actually reasonably quick. Okay. Almost. Almost. We're almost there. Eighth of December. We're in November, so Cactus is almost done. Double Hump R has completed orders, which is fine. Come on, December. We're in November now. One month. One month away. The most annoying thing is that our task force training is going to be minimal. Speaking of task force, we don't even have any bloody officers because our commander died. Staff officers. Bethany Barker, actually. Uh, crew training bonus. Is that right? Yeah, crew training bonus. Uh, right out. Commodore, um, military. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so you're running parapet. Military tonnage destroyed nine six hundred. Commercial tonnage seventy three thousand. Wow, you have a extensive career. I like you. Um, wow. Commission September 23. Connor Little is an old guy. I like you. Okay. Um, so, crew rating 275, initial rating 226. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I like you a lot. Although, Bethany is 60. But most of that is political reliability and terraforming and survey. So, She's not actually that useful, to be honest. All right, stick you in there. Game will assign the rest. We're almost done, guys. November 27th is rolling around now, so blockade, it should be done. Perfect. And... It's December is only about two weeks away, and then we will have our sensor wallabies. And done. Our fleet is complete. Ah, okay. Before we do anything, Mercury, how's your environment doing? 8.3? You know what? I think it's about time that we start building colony. Yeah, I think it's about time we start building colony. Um, Luna. Actually, Australia should still have a infrastructure. Yeah, you got infrastructure. Cool. 
100 infrastructure supply, 100 infrastructure demand, and we just built some auto mines. So yeah, we'll just supply those as well and send you to Mercury. Okay, this will set up a colony on Mercury that will grow rapidly. Uh, the suitability cost is still going to be low, um, and I doubt we're going to be able to get anybody actually on here. Like, we need 838 infrastructure at the moment per million population, so, yeah. But, that'll be fine. We produce 5,800 infrastructure a year on Australia. Luna is making five. And Mars is making 34, but they're basically using most of theirs. So, like, it, like it, it's producing 361, but it's not actually exporting any. Same with Luna. So these two, because they have a colony cost of two, they're, um, they're not really have any to export. But Australia has thousands of tons. So, that's fine. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Let's get our fleet organized. So, uh, who is currently on Overwatch? Second battle? Okay. Second battle fleet. Okay. So, first battle fleet is going to be our... Our guys. So, we don't need that. We don't need him. Don't need them. Don't need these guys. Although... We could bring the James Cook and these two saviors with us. Hmm, interesting. An interesting thought indeed. Might see if I can do something real quick about that. Um, double hump has to come with because we need a jump. We need jump capability. Um, Kamal heavies, cactuses. Yes, Kamal colliers and wallabies. Yes. And double hum R just for the extra fuel load. Um real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. James Cook. Now you're not very fast, but if we ditch these real quick and we copy you and we swap we don't do anything special, we just add some cryo bays. Oh, those are big. Well, I mean, we don't need 10,000. I don't think we're going to get 10,000 um, prisoners, but um, let's say two small ones. Is that going to be buildable from you? Yes. Okay. Um, alternatively, we could just use it to shuttle to just to carry the saviors. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. So, um, we don't actually need this design at all. later maybe so we're actually going to take the uh, James Cook with us as well so James Cook good and saviors we are going to swap to because I mean the saviors have a thousand on the, of their own right um, and between the two of them we have 2,000 capacity plus like one or two thousand on the um, yeah so this this is um, this is fine James Cook, launch land. James Cook, launch land. All right, we have ourselves a very, very formidable battle fleet. And uh, I don't know if they know how much of a world of hurt they're up for. So... <sighs> Yeah, this is um, actually very quickly. 
very, very quickly. I need to do something real quick. Kamal, we need to swap your hammers and nails. Shit, how many did I have? We have like 86. No, we'll run hammers on these guys. Then, yeah. We'll run 80 hammers. And we'll run... But I do want stingers. So, it's a little bit more defensive. We're going to keep a larger hold of stingers. Um, I think these guys are going to be running anti-fac coverage. So, we don't need too many. But we do want stingers because they're also going to be running point to, um, point defense. So, there we go. Um, so, with that loadout... Load ordnance. Wait, is somebody on overhaul? Parapets on an overhaul. Oh, not for much longer. And the rest of these guys are on overhaul, but they, they should be done, like, in a week or two. So... <clears throat> Looks like we might not make Christmas. That's fine. We'll we'll ruin their New Year's. Oh, they scrapped a whole bunch of ships. Awesome. And the governor of Australia has died again. Come on! <sighs> um, what do we need? We need... Shipbuilding bonus. Samantha Mellor, we need you where you are with your 35%. Oh, no, Governor of Australia Sector? No, you need to stay where you are. Uh, Charlie Blake, shipbuilding, mining doesn't matter. So, shipbuilding, factory production, wealth creation. These two we don't need. Population growth. Wow, this guy is perfect. Get yourself to Australia. Where? Why are you? Why are you on Venus? Congratulations on your promotion and coming back from a hellhole. Okay. So, first battle fleet. Are you finished your overhaul? Yes. Everybody is ready. Blare the no Blare the sirens, boys. We are going to war. <clears throat> All right, move to Melbourne Jump Point. We are slow because we do have a couple of really old slow ships, but once we get there, a lot of them will break off and follow separately, and they'll be um, we're not we're not that incredibly slow. We're slow, but not that bad to be honest. Okay. Um, wow, we'll use fuel. We chug on fuel. Oh well. Stand the transit. Okay. Nothing there. As usual. Perth jump point, move two. Let's see what's over there. And we're going to stage there. Unrest is rising on Mercury due to overcrowding, but no real surprise there. Green ant construction is done, but we have all the ammo we need. Mercury, how you doing? They stuck two million of the bastards. Righto. So we are. We have 1.3 million supported. They have a thousand infrastructure. They're, they're, they're moving infrastructure. They're moving infrastructure. It's fine. Uh, oh, we actually have workers. Huh. 
Looks like the colony cost is not quite low enough to trash our manufacturing sector. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we'll let that build up a bit. We're not going to do anything about it right now. Okay. First battle fleet. Transit. Uh, we are going to break off the double humps. And also... Did we ever actually patch up that waller? I don't think we did. Oh, well. Uh, James Cook, we're going to break you off. Uh, the Kamal Colliers, Bacow and Baya Marie. And... Just in case, the two Wallaby S's, uh, Mayflower and Montreal. Break you off, stay where you are. Okay, transit. Bingo. All right, we have a jump blockade in place. So have we lost anything? No, we have not, but we are taking damage. All right, they have a Hell and a Woden. We do not know how big they are. I don't know. Uh, we have encountered and killed a hell before. It ha does have a lot of lasers. And Woden ha has 10 lasers. So they are beam ships. They are in point blank range. This is how you break a, break a blockade. Let me show you. We have self-guided missiles, right? So. Launchers. Allocate all. Allocate all. Um, we're not going to run green ants. The Kamal should be enough to handle it. Now. Where is it? Which ones, which ones were they? Caracal and Roman. Roman. Missile launch. Caracal. Missile launch. Uh, have they actually fired? Yes. Good. Ah, oh, we also fired nails. Whatever. Now, why does this work? Because Steve screwed up. <laughs> that's the truth of it. It's unfortunate, but that's the reason why. Um... Missile launchers are not really supposed to be able to fire when under jump shock under any circumstances. The problem is that the missile launch button, this one, um, fires them unlinked to fire control. So it's not that the tubes themselves can't launch. It's that the fire controls are disrupted. This... This just throws the missile out. No guidance, no lock, no reliance on fire control. Um, problem is that Steve set this particular button, and it's also um, there. Um, Steve set this particular button, and it's supposed to only be able to fire when without um, uh, jump shock. Except he inverted some switch somewhere and now it can only fire when under the effects of jump, jump shock. Which basically renders jump blockades worthless when you're firing missiles. So we now have missiles in, in space. There they are. The stingers aren't going to do anything. They're just wasted. But the hammers are directly on top of the enemy. And the next second, they're going to fight. They're going to smash into them. And then basically going to have no recourse. So, um, but we do want to move. And we want to move fast. So, let's just start moving off immediately. It's going to take them a while because the task force training is all over the place. But, um... Who did? Who actually took damage? By the way, uh, raccoon. 
Raccoon took damage, but they're only three damage hits, so they're basically nothing. Um, Raccoon is taking pretty significant damage, though. But that's not a big deal, because we actually have a carrier. Um, I don't think it has, has the... Hang on, how much capacity does the... James Cook have? 5,000. No, it's not quite big enough. Oh, well. Um, so it looks like the Raccoon is taking the pounding. Raccoon, 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 Raccoon. Yeah, it's entirely the Raccoon. How you doing there, buddy? Armor is almost entirely shredded. Uh, massive damage across the board. So, yeah, Raccoon's out of commission. There is one other thing that you can... Mm, no, because it's other jump shocks, so it won't matter. Alright, five second tick. Hammer cannot find target. Do we not? Do they not have actives? What's the resolution on those hammers? Shit. Res 100. 5,000 ton object. It might be that they're small. If they're really, really small... Okay, I want to go to Asteroid 73 instead. Asteroid 73. That's on the opposite direction. We might lose a ship. We'll see. Um... Kamal Heavy, we have plenty of ammunition, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, oh, shit, they're too long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I have to rename these. Missile our launchers. S10 launcher okay that's significantly smaller is that small enough to fit into the combat screen yes good okay 10 assign 11 to 20 a sign. 21 to 30. A sign. Forty-one to fifty. Hang on. 1 to 10. 20. 30. Oh, right. I skipped 30s. 31 to 40. And 41 to 50. Okay. Assign all. Actually, sign all, and we're just going to go with these 10, sign those, and you know what, yeah, these 10 too, okay, so Ajud Ayud. We are also going, going to get you to do a missile launch. Yes, we know. So that's only two salvos. Okay. Uh, let's go. Cross section of 183. No, they should be able to target it. Why can't they lock on? Cross section 93. That's significantly higher. Um, I, no, I think it's because the, it, we only just got active lock. It should seek and guide now. So... Can we see a bang? Yeah, there's the bang. Hammers and green ants. Bang, bang. Destroyed. And that is how you break a jump, a siege. Alright. So, 
now that we have absolutely freaking trashed the Karaka, their um, Woden and Hell, do we get? Do we see any uh, secondary power explosion, nuclear detonation, secondary power explosion? Um, Hell took a hell of a lot more damage than the Woden did. One, two, three, four, five hits from the hammer compared to a lot of hits from the green ants. Ah, oh, well. That works for me. Alright. Hold up. And move two. Okay. Um, who got screwed? That would have been Raccoon. Um... I don't think it's worth repairing in the field. His armor is too low. So, Raccoon, we are going to split you off and get you headed back to base. Um, you still have all your engines. You still have fuel. Yep. So, Raccoon, detach. And head back to Australia. Do a refuel. And uh, I'm going to show you a really interesting... Um, I'm going to show you a really interesting order. This one here, send message. What this does... What this does is, as soon as this order is complete, it will actually send you a message here that you typed in. So, this will deliver a message. So, once it gets to Australia and does the refuel and is ready for uh, repairs, we will actually get a message down here. Uh, the one that I typed in. So, uh, you'll see that in a moment. All right. Five more seconds. Uh, we have a tiny... We have the hammers here providing um, an active sensor for the time being. So, we're just going to wait until the jump shock is done. Uh, we still have fire delay at the moment. These guys are... Fine. Are you... Yep. You're on your way. That's fine. I'm gonna run two minutes. Are we out of jump shock now? Yes, excellent. All right, Battle Fleet Two. Transit to Transit to Perth Jump Point. Here we are. Okay. So, first battle fleet, task group battle fleet 2. We are going to uh, refuel from target fleet. And... We don't really need anything else. But we do need to pick up our Wolby sensors. And... That's it for now. Um, actually, no, we need our colliers as well. Okay. Um, James Cook can just follow on its own along with the double humps. Well, the double humps going to kind of just stay here, but James Cook can stay where it is for now. Okay. Let's complete those orders. Done. Good. Uh, we are a fair bit over time, so I'm just going to deploy our escorts first, and then we'll take a break here. So, Wallaby S, escort, uh, and we are going to put you at... Uh, 1 million kilometers. Actually, where's the... We have Potteroo Sensor. We'll detach... We'll escort you. We're going to put you at a million kilometers. Uh, Mayflower, we are going to put you at... 3 million kilometers. And... Montreal, we're going to put you at 5 million kilometers. Okay.
So we have our sensor um, picket line. Um, I'll organize uh, fire control um, so that uh, all the weapons are configured correctly uh, off camera. But for now, we're going to put that cut there. And next episode, we are going to finally finish off these Xeno Bastards in Perth. So thank you for watching and I will see you then.